Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another advent calendar unboxing. In today's video we are unboxing the John Lewis Beauty Advent Calendar and it's actually really really heavy. This is way heavier than I expected it to be. Um, so this is the calendar here, this arrived today, it went on sale yesterday which was the 4th and I paid for a next day delivery so it came today. So this is £179 and it's worth over £770. So pretty good saving. All the calendars this year seem to be a really, really good saving. Um, inside there are 27 products and it's a 25 day advent calendar. Now also in day 25 there are 10 £500 gift vouchers so you might receive one of those. So fingers crossed it's in here. I didn't get the golden tickets in the other advent calendars so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah there's 10 um, gift vouchers to spend at John Lewis which is a nice little touch. On the website it also says that in here it includes a full skincare regime, a versatile makeup look, three iconic fragrances, hair essentials and a moment of calm. And we've got 14 full sizes, so pretty much half, not bad. And 13 smaller sizes, whether that's travel size, deluxe size, discovery size, whatever they're called. Um, but yeah, this is the calendar. Um, I picked this up last year and I was really, really impressed with it. It's definitely one of my faves. So yeah, I knew I was going to get it this year. I was waiting for it and here it is. So this is what we're going to be unboxing in today's video. If you are excited to see what is inside then please keep watching. Um, also if you like these kind of videos, if you like my channel, please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. It really, really means a lot. And our little family is growing, which is very exciting. So yeah, let's dive into it. And thank you. <laughs> so this is actually a sleeve that comes off. And the print this year is really, really nice. So they've gone for this like pinky purple theme, like beauty bits on it. So we've got lipstick, we've got some perfume. I think that's really nice, the little stars and stuff. This is one of the calendars that you can definitely reuse. It's not Christmassy in the slightest. It doesn't say Merry Christmas. Um, so yeah, you can definitely just pop this on a drawer unit or something um, and you can reuse it. The drawers also come all the way out. You can spin them around so it doesn't have the numbers on as well. So great for reusing. I will probably reuse this to make another advent calendar to give to someone. Um, but yeah, so this is the calendar. Um, it's not as tall as the other calendars that I've unboxed recently. Um, so when the box came, I was actually quite surprised it was quite small. But if you don't need all that packaging, why make it that big? So yeah, the doors open like this. So it is one of these where the doors do actually fold back. So you do need quite a bit of space. But yeah, this is really nice. I'm loving the colour theme this year. Really, really pretty. Love pinks and purples. Pink's my favourite, obviously. Um, but yeah, I love it. Really nice. Really, really premium. So yeah, we're going to dive straight into it. So let's start with day number one then. So it's here. Yeah, you can just turn it around. It's just plain. But yeah, this is the box. Nice sturdy box. And inside day number one, we're off to a really, really good start. We've got a full size Olaplex number three. This is amazing. I love this product. I use this so often on my hair. This is like 20 something pound, 23, 26 or something. There's 100 mil here. Great start. Um, it says it's not a conditioner, it's a bond builder. So you basically damp in your hair, put this through your entire hair and then leave it for a while. I usually leave it for a couple of hours. I usually have a bath with it on. Um, and then after that, I'll then wash my hair and then use shampoo and condition as normal. And it works to just keep your hair really strong in really good condition. And that is a fab product. So yeah, great, great start. Love that. Okay, number two. Okay, number two is up here. Oh, this is a good product. So day number two, we've got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love this product. This is such a fab powder. Um, there's 9.3 grams. This is just a miniature. It's fab though. It's not the very, very small ones that we've had. Never actually seen it in this size. So I finished a full size one of these not that long ago, a few months ago. Um, and usually we get the very, very small miniature ones. This is a really, really good size. So yeah, translucent, suitable for everybody. Really nice powder for setting your makeup. So after I've applied all my cream products, so like my foundation, my cream blush, cream contour, I'll then set it with a powder like this before using my powder products. And this is a really, really good one. Day three is at the bottom. Ooh, Bobbi Brown. This looks good. This is Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks in the shade Powder Pink. This, this is the Bobbi Brown packaging. Love this. So in here then, I think I've got this in a different shade. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. So with it being Powder Pink, I expected like a very pale pink, but it's actually not. It's like a pinky nude. That is a gorgeous colour. I love that. So this is a product that you can use as a cream blush or also as a lip product. You can do it for both. 
Um, yeah, really gorgeous shade. That's definitely different than the one I've got. I much prefer this one. That is really, really nice. Uh, this is a full-size product as well. Um, on the website as well, it does tell you a little bit about each item in the calendar. So, yeah, this says our best-selling multitasking cream colour for lips and cheeks comes in a mirrored flip-top compact for on-the-spa application. Yeah, that looks really nice. I love that colour as well. Gorgeous. Okay, day four. Day four is up here. Oh, that's cute packaging. Little star there. Nice. Okay, day four. We've got a product from Esper. This is the Triactive Regenerating Bioretinal Sleeping Serum. This sounds nice. This is what it looks like. So in here we've got 10 mil. This says it's designed to tackle visible signs of skin aging as you sleep. I'm going to use a lot of this. Working progressively night after night to deliver exceptional results, skin appears rejuvenated and replenished for natural beauty and inner calm. Sounds good. So what do you do with it then? The best results after cleansing and toning, apply to fingertips and gently press into face, neck and decollete until fully absorbed. That sounds fab. I love the sound of that. Okay, day five. Why is it so difficult to find? Day five, done. Okay, in day five, we've got a, I think, calendar regular here. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Miniature. So in this one, we have 15 mil. I've got so many of these. They keep popping up in advent calendars. So it says, our clinic-inspired exfoliating scrub reveals smoother texture and pores in two minutes whilst prepping skin to better absorb the rest of your regimen, making every product and ingredient that follows more effective. So it is like an exfoliator. Uh, intensive exfoliating treatment is called Hollywood's two minute facial. So you apply it to a clean wet face, massage in a circular motion for 30 seconds and leave on for up to two minutes and then rinse. Nice but nothing new, nothing exciting there. Okay, day six. Oh, day 24 is going to fall. Oh, don't look. Day six. Oh, this is a good one. So we've got a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. And this is the palette called Bella Sophia. Nice. So I've never heard of this palette before not one that i've already got which is great these retail for around 43 pounds oh those are gorgeous colors i love those so that is the quad really really gorgeous set so as always we have the first one to prime which is here this next one down here is to enhance this one is to smoke and then this one is to pop so four colors that you can wear together to create the perfect eye look I really love these palettes. I use all four colours together to create the perfect eye look, sometimes just three of them. And they all work perfectly together. Really gorgeous eyeshadows as well, and they last ages. They're really easy to apply, and they seem to last all day as well. So yeah, big fan of these palettes. And I like that it's a palette that we've not already got that's been in other calendars. But yeah, I love that. Very, very happy with that one. Okay, day seven is up here. <gasps> oh, we've got an Elemis product. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Moisture Essence 28 mil lush look at that i've actually got a miniature of that in the calendar i think okay so this is just a miniature as well this says it's infused with a blend of hydrating padina pavanica and sea spring water which is rich in magnesium copper and zinc the deeply moisturizing formula delivers instant and intense hydration that lasts for up to 24 hours so it says use morning and evening after cleansing and toning gently pat until absorbed and then you'll moisturize amazing Oh, I love Elemis, and the Pro Collagen range is my favourite. Okay, on to date number eight. This is another good one. We've got a full-size matte lipstick. This is a shade Syrup. I've never seen this in a calendar before, and I've never used this shade before. Uh, we all know what the MAC packaging looks like. So, Syrup is 524. Oh, it's one of the shiny bullets. Ooh, gorgeous shade. Very kind of mauve shade. Like a dusky kind of purpley pinky. Really, really pretty. Love that. And a different kind of shade as well. Not your reds, not your nudes. So this is the Luster Glass Sheer Shine Lipstick. It's a sheer high shine colour, all day moisture. And it's the newly revamped Luster Glass Lipstick. It's got hyaluronic acid in to nourish, hydrating condition the lips, leaving a luminous pop of sheer high shine colour. It's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, shea butter, jojoba, raspberry seed, olive, coconut oil for ultra hydrating colour. That sounds amazing. It's not just a lipstick anymore, it's got like really good ingredients in. That is fab, nice to see that in here. Okay, day number nine down here. Oh, I've got a fragrance. Oh, wow. So this is the Lontody. I don't know how you say this. Givenchy, Givenchy, I have no idea how you pronounce it. Oh, the parfum 10 mil, this is the box. So this is a bigger box than I expected with it being a perfume, but on the back it does say sample not for sale, unfortunately. Um, Let's have a look. 
And that is what the bottle looks like. It comes in this little plastic packaging. Super cute. I can actually smell it. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Oh, I think I like that one. Oh, that's good. Perfumes are tricky in advent calendars, I think, because they're very personal, aren't they? So you either like it or you don't. I know some people like to get perfumes in advent calendars. For me, not my favourite because I have my particular perfumes I like, my particular scent. Um, but it is nice to try like miniatures like this. I don't mind miniatures. So this says it's a white floral cut through with dark notes, unleashing a bold luminosity that flirts with obscurity. Fancy. Orange blossom, jasmine and tuberose, vetiver and patchouli. I think I can smell the tuberose. Yeah, that's nice. I think I like that one. Okay, day 10. Oh, this big one up here. Oh, big product. Oh, amazing. Okay, so in day 10, we've got the full size CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream from Sunday Riley. Full size product. This moisturizer is gorgeous. I love this moisturizer. I've used this before. I've had two of these, I think. Really, really nice. This is full size. It's infused with 5% vitamin C. It's deeply hydrating, visibly brightens, dull skin, fights the signs of dehydration and damage, and provides advanced antioxidant support. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous moisturiser. It's kind of lightweight on the skin, but it feels really nourishing. Um, it's got a bit of scent to it as well, kind of like, you know, like all these vitamin C products, they have a bit of like an orange kind of scent to it. Um, but I really like it. Very happy to have that in here. I definitely, definitely will use that one. Okay, day 11. Bit of a full box. Ooh, so we've got a cleanser in 11. This is from Murad, and it's the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser, 60 ml Quite a decent size for a cleanser, considering it's not full size. Um, this says reveal youthful radiant skin with this high performance exfoliating cleanser. Skin is left cleansed and refined with dullness and dehydration, polished away and texture and tone noticeably improved. Um, I have never tried this one before. I do have a full size of this in the cupboard. Yeah, it says for optimal results, use two to three times weekly. So because it's an exfoliating one, it's not recommending use it every single day. Two to three times a week, bit of an exfoliation. I probably wouldn't use that at the same time that you're going to be using the exfoli cakes. It might be a little bit too much, um, or it would be for my skin anyway. Um, but yeah, nice product there. Day 12 at the top. Oh, what's this? This is different. Oh, look at this. This is from Aqua de Parma. Oh, is this a double product? It is. So we've got two products inside here. This is cute. So we've got the bath and shower gel. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Little miniature bath and shower gel. And then we've also got, and oh, the paper says Aqua de Parma as well, Eau de Cologne. So the bath and shower gel is 40 ml. It's the Colonia Bath and Shower Gel. Um, it says it's a gorgeous gentle formulation to cleanse and purify the skin. Got coconut oil and wheat protein. Your skin will be soft, smooth and delicately perfumed. And then the fragrance, um, Eau de Cologne Spray. It's elegant and classic. It was created in 1916 and since then has managed to seduce the senses of both men and women. A unique and naturally fresh sensual scent that will linger for hours. Let's smell this. I'm going to spray it into this. I like that they paired a fragrance with something else as well. So if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of fragrances, you've still got something else in that day. Mm, definitely a unisex scent. I like that though. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And that's really cute that it comes in that as well. Nice, I like that one. Okay, day 13 is here. And in 13, we've got the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. I thought this was going to be the Beauty Flash Balm, but it's not. Hand and Nail Treatment Cream, 30ml. This is a hand cream, so this obviously isn't a full size. Uh, a moisturising cream with soothing sesame oil and fortifying Japanese mulberry, which protects against chapping and irritation, promotes soft, supple hands and long-lasting comfort, and also strengthens the nails. Great for winter when it's colder weather. You know, I get dry hands in the winter, especially on my cuticles, so this will be fab for that. Um, yeah, really nice. I think a hand cream is always an essential in an advent calendar. Uh, I think everybody likes a hand cream. Not too many. Okay, day 14 is at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, day 11 is falling. Okay, this is definitely a product I've seen elsewhere, but this is exciting. This is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub 40ml. That's what it looks like. So it's just the miniature here. I actually really like this product. The first time I used it, I wasn't really sure. Um, but then when I used it again, I quite liked it. Uh, so it's a deep cleansing shampoo scrub. It's perfect as a detox or post colouring treatment to invigorate hair and sensitive or oily scalps so they feel immediately rebalanced and purified. 
Um, it removes daily build-up, helping to calm the sensation of itchy scalps whilst tackling oily roots and leaving hair looking beautifully shiny. So yeah, it's a soothing detox treatment shampoo, so it says you use it once a week. You can actually feel like there's salt in it, so it's quite a different shampoo. Um, that'd be maybe two uses in that for me. Okay, 15 is over here. And we've got an advent calendar classic. The Augustia Spader The Rich Cream, 15 mil. I've just unboxed this in another advent calendar as well. But I'm fine with this because I absolutely love this cream. It is such a gorgeous moisturiser. It is rich because obviously the rich cream. So it's very rich on the skin. So I feel like when I've used it, it does soak in pretty quickly. Leaves my skin feeling really hydrated and moisturised. Um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous cream. I've said this a million times on all my other videos. So if you've seen them all before, I'm sorry. But if you've not seen it, basically when this becomes empty, don't just throw it away. Take this top off and pull it out and it's like a bag inside cut the bag open you can get like two more days use out of it um so you're not wasting any because it's a very very pricey moisturizer um this size 15 ml is around about the 60 pounds mark very expensive gorgeous moisturizer and even though i've seen it in many advent calendars now i'm not mad about that i like it and i'm happy to get another one okay number 16 is up here and in 16 we've got a product from otto oto i don't know rejuvenating eye cream infused with high concentrations of pure OTO CBD, carrot seed oil and antioxidant vitamin E to target dryness, signs of ageing and fatigue. So an eye cream, do you need milk? That's what it looks like. So that's the bit I've just read out. I've never heard of this brand before. This is a full size product and it's formulated specially for the delicate skin around the eye. High quality CBD in it. I do prefer eye creams when they're in a tube rather than a pot because you always have to dip your finger in it and you always get a different amount every time whereas when it's in a pump or a tube it's easier to get the same every time but that's okay okay day 17 and um, i've got a product from lumi you know this looks interesting this is the nordic sea arctic berry oil cocktail fancy look at that see the oil separating there from the product oh that looks so nice so in here there's 30 ml so this is another full-size product um, it says this brightening biphase formula is an energizing cocktail containing our most treasured arctic berries the arctic cloudberry nordic cranberry and lingonberry rich in c a and precursor b3 b5 and e vitamins as well as antioxidants and essential omega fatty acids to help replenish and smooth the appearance of even the driest skin whilst restoring its youthful glow that sounds incredible i really like the sound of that so you use it after cleansing before the moisturizer yeah, I'm very excited to try that. That sounds fab I and mean, it looks so cool. Love that, full size as well. I've actually never tried a Lumine product. I think I've got a couple of minis in my drawer but I've never tried them. Okay, 18 down here. Oh, we've got an Advent Calendar Classic that I've not actually seen in any Advent Calendar this year yet. It's a Molten Brown Bath and Shower Gel. Like, we used to get these in every single Advent Calendar and this year I've had none so far. Um, yeah, this is the scent Orange and Bergamot. So it's the standard Molten Brown packaging that's what it looks like and i'm gonna open it because i will definitely use this not my favorite scent but it's pleasant not bad i'll pop that in my bath i think and um, yeah you can use those just as a shower gel or you can actually pour it in your bath and it's bubble bath which is what i do with them now okay day 19 is up here and in day 19 we've got the third fragrance three of three so this is Floral Street, but it's a different one. We usually get that same blue and yellow one. Uh, this is Sunflower Pop Eau de Parfum 10 ml. And it's Floral Street collaborating with the Van Gogh Museum. And that's the picture in the background. Oh, that is really nice. Love the packaging. So can you see the picture through it? So the picture is actually on this side, the sunflowers, but obviously you can see through the bottle. That's really pretty. Mm. Okay, I've not sprayed that, but you can definitely smell it through the top. That's not a scent for me, so I won't be using that one. I don't like the other Floral Street ones that I've tried. Uh, this is full size. It's a citrus fruity fragrance. Yellow tipped sunflowers from the brush of Van Gogh inspire this bright blend of crisp amber plum blossom and orris with a burst of bergamot and fresh mandarin. Joy bringing and sun soak, bursting with rays of optimism and masterpiece in a bottle. You know, it's not a bad scent, but it's just not one that I'm going to wear. So I'd rather pass that on to someone who will wear it. Um, but yeah, completely different fragrances, which is nice. So you can try different ones and hopefully there'll be one that suits you. Uh, day 20 then down here. And in day 20, we've got from Evolve. This is a miracle mask for tired, dull skin with fruit, AHA and Peruvian maca. Uh, this is what it looks like. 
kind of like one of those minimalist bottles with just the very small writing on. Um, 100% natural origin, vegan, what do you do? Um, so there's 30 mil in here, it says the, this delicious AHA fruit mask blended with 100% natural fruit acids, including glycolic acid from sugar cane, it delivers instantly smoother, plumper skin. It helps to increase cellular renewal and skin radiance and reduces the appearance of aging. Papaya also acts as a natural exfoliator. So yeah, nice little look face mask there. Um, 30 mil, not a bad size. Okay, day 21 is up here. Oh, I thought it was empty then. Okay, so in at day 21, we've got a mascara from Lancome. And this is the Noir Hypnotic Hypno. It says not for individual sale, that's annoying. Um, I've used this mascara so many times in the past and it is a really, really nice mascara. Really, really recommend this one. It's gorgeous. Um, very, very deep black shade. And this has got a really nice one. I'll pop a picture here because I won't be opening it yet. Um, yeah, it's only two mils, so it's just a miniature. But nice to get a mascara in here. And it is a really good one. I like that one. Okay, 22 is here. Oh, we've got a product from Dermalogica. This is nice. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery 50 mil. This is what it looks like. Really big bottle there. This is also full size. Top that's gonna be expensive. It says it's a broad spectrum moisturizer that helps combat the appearance of skin aging, helps minimize the appearance of skin aging with this medium weight emollient daily moisturizer with SPF 50. So yeah, it's an SPF 50 moisturizer. Dermalogica is a really, really gorgeous skincare brand. I love so many of their products. I've actually not tried this one, so yeah, I will definitely be using that one. I think last year we got the vitamin C serum in here, which is my favourite, so I would have loved to have that again. But nice to try something different. Day 23 at the top, nearly finished. And we've got a product from Votary. It's the Brightening Hyaluronic Serum, 50ml. I've never tried this brand before. I think I might have received something, but I've not tried it. This is also full size, which is fab. So it says it unifies skin tone, restores radiance to dull skin, uh, hyperpigmentation is rebalanced, and skin looks even and luminous. Yeah, nice hyaluronic serum. Looks like a nice consistency as well, not too watery, not too thick. Yeah, love that. Okay, day 24. We had a sneak peek before when it fell down. But in day 24, we've got a product from Aromatherapy Associates, and this is the De-Stress Muscle Bath and Shower Oil, 55ml. This is a really nice product as well. Did we get this in last year's, or was it in a similar calendar? I can't remember. I definitely ended up with three of these last year. This is a full size. It says, experience the intensely warming and easing powers of rosemary, lavender, and ginger to de-stress your body after spending too long in one position or after too much physical activity. Yeah, this is really nice. You can use it in the bath and you can also massage it into your skin as well. Uh, yeah, nice size. Gorgeous bottle. I think that looks really nice in the bathroom. But yeah, nice that this is in Christmas Eve as well because Christmas Eve you can have a nice relaxing bath. Chill out after all that Christmas prep. Okay, day 25 then. Christmas day. Have we got a golden ticket? I don't see a golden ticket. Okay, but we have two products in here. So we've got two neon products. Oh no, it's broken. Oh dear. Okay, well the first product is the Neom Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. Um, there's 30ml in here, so that's what this one looks like. Really, really gorgeous scent. It's the scent to sleep scent. And then in here, I've got to be really careful now, because this is actually a Neom candle, but the glass has smashed, so I don't really want this to go anywhere. Oh dear. Okay, so I think the rest of the glass is in the bottom there, but this is the candle. This is a really, really nice candle. I actually have this in the bathroom right now. The Perfect Night Sleep Scent to Sleep. It's English Lavender, Sweet Basil and Jasmine. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. But look at the back of it. It's all smashed. You can see how it's cracked down there as well. I'm not going to light that because if I light that, it might make it crack even more. And I don't really want glass in my bath <laughs> or anywhere else for that matter. Um, yeah, the rest of the glass is in the bottom. Can you hear it? Oh, that's not good. Okay. I'm probably going to message them about that. I say this every time when there's an issue. I say, oh, I'll message them and I never do. But that's that's dangerous. And I quite like a candle, what I can use. Uh, that's a shame, though. I'm going to keep that in that box. But yeah, nice little duo for Christmas Day. I think we got a candle in last year's as well. I can't remember fully. Um, yeah, the candle and the pillow mist are both full size, which is fab. Um, the candle, it says, a neon tranquility fragrance is a complex blend of the 90 of the purest possible essential oils, including English lavender, sweet basil and jasmine, all expertly blended to help you relax and prepare for sleep. It is really, really nice. 
The Pillow Mist says it's got 14 of the purest possible essential oils that continue to release into the night as you sleep. Yeah, I really like that scent. It's really relaxing, great for a nighttime bath, and then obviously to spray all over your pillow um, before you get into bed. But yeah, they're really, really nice duo. I like that there's two products in Christmas Day. Um, obviously, like the candle's glass, but this is also glass that's probably not been packaged very well. That's probably like actually broken while I've been in there. But yeah, that is the John Lewis Beauty Advent Calendar unboxed for 2022. Um, I think I remember it being better last year. I can't remember exactly what was in it, but I remember feeling more excited about it last year. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still a fab calendar, especially for the price. £179 for over £770 worth of products. Um, and we do have some really, really good products in here. So we've got the full-size Dermalogica. We've got the full-size Sunday Riley Moisturiser. We've got some Augustina's Beta. Full-size Charlotte Tilbury palette as well, which is amazing. Um, obviously, there are a couple of the sample not for resale kind of products, which is disappointing. Um, but I do like it. It's a good calendar. If I was just going to pick one this year, it would have been so difficult. Um, there's so many that I actually like. But yeah, maybe we could have had a little bit more makeup inside. Um, but I like that they've included three fragrances. We've got some bath and shower gel as well. Nice skincare products that we've not seen in other advent calendars, which is great. Um, but yeah, overall, I do think it's a really, really nice calendar. Great way to try some more high-end pricey brands. And we've got 14 full sizes in here, so that should last you quite a while. But now over to you guys. Let me know all of your thoughts on this calendar in the comments down below. What do you think of it compared with last year? Did you already pick it up or are you passing on this one this year? And what do you think of the content? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, as always, if you did enjoy this video, I'd really, really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And thank you so, so much for watching. That is it for today's video and I'll see you soon for another unboxing.